Let us stand up and say our entrance antiphon. On the feast of Saint Bartholomew Apostle, Antiphon, proclaim the salvation of God day by day, tell among the nations his glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Today we are celebrating the feast of Saint Bartholomew, who was an apostle. And being a feast, we shall also say the Gloria when it is time for the Gloria. And now let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I've greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault through my fall, through my most grievous fall. Therefore, I ask for his mirror version. All the angels and saints, and to my brothers and sisters, pray for me, the Lord of God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. And today's Mass is requested for the repose of the soul of Teresa Marshall de Noel. Strengthen in us, O Lord, the faith by which the blessed Apostle Bartholomew clung wholeheartedly to your Son, and grant that through the help of his prayers, your Church may become for all the nations the sacrament of salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Revelation. The angel spoke to me, saying, Come here, I will show you the bride, the wife of the Lamb. He took me in spirit to a great high mountain and showed me the holy city of Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. It gleamed with the splendor of God. Its radiance was like that of a precious stone like jasper, clear as crystal. It had a massive high wall with 12 gates where 12 angels were stationed and on which names were inscribed, the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. 
There were three gates facing east, three north, three south, and three west. The wall of the city had 12 courses of stones as its foundation, on which were inscribed the 12 names of the 12 apostles of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Our responsorial psalm, your friends make known to me, known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. from the Holy Gospel according to John. Philip found Nathanael and told him, We have found the one about whom Moses wrote in the law, and also the prophets, Jesus, son of Joseph, from Nazareth. But Nathanael said to him, can anything good come from Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said to him, Here is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. And he said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, you will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Today we are celebrating the feast of St. Bartholomew who was one of the 12 apostles of Jesus. And whenever we're celebrating a feast of an apostle, 
is a big is normally important in the church because any of the apostles is very foundational in our faith because they are the people who are very close to Jesus and he chose them to continue the mission of spreading the kingdom of God. And it is through these apostles now we were able to receive the word and the good news all over the world. Most of them went to far places to spread the gospel and the, most of them also were killed because of their mission of evangelizing. And that's why we keep on wearing red when it is a feast of an apostle. But if for Bartholomew, maybe not much is known about him. The only thing that is known about him, most of the scholars have agreed that that Nathaniel we heard in the gospel, who was called by Philip, his brother, or his friend, should be Bartholomew. At first, he was doubting whether anything good could come from Nazareth, because Nazareth was considered a backwater place, a place which is not well developed, maybe a place which was having the least educated people. It was a humble place. So the moment he said, the moment Philip said, I found the Messiah, he's from Nazareth, Nathaniel or Bartholomew was wondering, this cannot happen, this cannot happen. But the moment he saw Jesus and he started prophesying or telling him about his life and so on, he really believed, he was really convinced that he was really the son of God. You and me are called it upon today to join Bartholomew in his saying, you are really the son of God. And the moment you say that, honestly, wholeheartedly from the heart, Jesus is able to see and say, that is the truth you are saying. By telling him, there's no duplicity in him. He was able to see in his heart that he was a truthful man. And no wonder he chose him to be among his 12 apostles. 12 apostles, just as the way we, in the Old Testament they, ha they had the 12 tribes, and also the way you used to have 12 angels guarding the temple and so on. So he was one of the 12 apostles who were in the New Testament, one of the pillars in the church. We continue to pray for all the modern apostles, the bishops, and all these many missionaries who go around to spread the word of God, that their work may continue to be fruitful and it may bring more people into faith. Amen. Let us stand up and offer prayers to the Almighty God. We continue to pray for all our various church leaders who are the current apostles of Jesus, that they may always have the courage, the strength, and the wisdom of following the, example, the examples of true apostles of Jesus, those of Bartholomew and the rest. We pray to the Lord. We continue to pray for all of us, of all of us especially at this time of the pandemic, that uh, the way forward may be found and they may navigate it smoothly. We pray to the Lord. For our various families, that they may continue to grow in quality, in quantity, and in the love of the Lord. We pray to the Lord. And for all those who have not to pray for them, the marginalized, the homeless, that their prayers and their needs may be answered accordingly. We pray to the Lord. We also continue to pray for all those who have gone ahead of us that they may be received in God's eternal kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Almighty and ever-living God, we ask you to accept all our prayers 
spoken and unspoken, and grant them through Christ our Lord. which earth has given and human hands have made it will become for us the bread of life blessed be God blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have this wine to offer fruit of the vine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink blessed be God Pray, dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice for the praise of the Lord. As we celebrate anew the feast day of St. Bartholomew, O Lord, we pray that we may obtain your help through the intercession of the Apostle in whose honor we bring you this sacrifice of praise through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is a truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed the shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so, with angels and archangels, with the thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Sana in the high. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, 
and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until it come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, your Pope, and Alexander, Archbishop, Peter's auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember Teresa Marshall Benel, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coheres to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and from the by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thou will be done on earth that is not. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass us. And lead us not in temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your pastors, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And now we wave at each other with the peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take care of the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take care of
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. As we celebrate the feast day of the blessed apostle Bartholomew, we have received the pledge of eternal salvation, O Lord, and we pray that it may be 
of help to us, both now and for the life to come, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you, and may the Almighty God bless and protect you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And our Mass has ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ to love and serve one another. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God be king humbly pray and do the O Prince of the Heavenly Host. By the power of God, trust and fail Satan.